Um, well, I mean, let, let's talk about Danilyov then. Uh, obviously, in the same spot that we saw it was Nadinov in not too long ago. Uh, yeah, he's not probably, playing games. Probably getting benched because they're trying to force him into an extension, which maybe would be a bummer. But uh, I mean, what what can you pull from uh, the zero games that he's been playing? <laughs> he literally didn't play a game this week, and like not even like not playing the KHL. They didn't even let him go play in juniors. So I don't know if he like it's fucked up. But like I kind of hope he's hurt and he's not just getting scratched. Yeah. I haven't seen anything about that, but like he's not playing games. And the last handful of games he was playing in, at least in the KHL, it was like, I'm, I'm pulling up his uh, ice time now. It's like a minute and a half, a minute 47, 38 seconds. Like, and I don't know why, because there are a lot of games where he plays really well. And the next game, he's their 13th skater, like, or th- 13th forward. And I don't really know. His last game was in the fucking juniors, and he played on the 9th of January. <laughs> so it's been like... Nice. And his last KHL game was the day before. He played one minute and 16 seconds. So, oh my God, they made him play one, two, three, four, five, six games in eight days between, going between the juniors and the KHL. This is why, like, it's so fucking hard to evaluate, like, Russian prospects. It makes no sense to me. Um, why? Because like most of the viewings I have of him, even when he's playing like eight, nine, ten minutes a night in the KHL, he's very good and effective. And I think like um, just like his profile, you see the highlights. It's all offense. He's a very good, effective two-way winger. Like very good defensively where there isn't, Assuming, well, I mean, I guess now at this point, it kind of depends on what the next year or two goes, but there isn't really like a scenario where I don't see him being a legitimately impactful NHL player, whether that's just like, hey, he's got a whole lot of skill, doesn't put up a whole lot of points, but he's also like very good defensively and can absolutely kill penalties or, you know, whatever. He's a guy that you throw out on like, like a Tampa Bay third line with Kalorn or not Kalorn. Sorry, Goodrow, uh, Gord, and then who was the other fucker that they brought in there to, and they won the cup with? But that third line, though, um, um, Coleman, there it is. I could see him like being one of those guys too. So like, mm-hmm. but if you just kind of let him go and do his thing, him and Capri's on the same line would torture NHL defensemen. So now I'm just trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Again, I haven't seen anything about an injury. But it's very annoying, and I hate it, the fact that this kid just, like, isn't playing games at this point. So either let him go torch the uh, the MHL, the Russian juniors, or give him a legit role on your KHL squad because you're not as good as you were last year. So, I don't know. It's driving me nuts. They're doing the fucking Russian thing. I swear to God, if he yep. extends and then all of a sudden he's back in their top six, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Gonna happen. Um, yeah, I guess so. We'll see um so we're just kind of at a standstill with him because again i've seen a whole lot of good things from him a couple of goals he scored are unreal like the, i think the last goal he scored actually literally was a four check where he just wins the puck and then he snipes from in close like there you go defense into offense production and they're like no no no, you gotta bench him now um so i don't really know what's going on with him but Again, you like, know exactly what's going on with him. You just don't I want know to it just him. sucks, dude. Like, I don't know why. It's just so weird. Like, because Russia. Even, well, even last year, though, in his draft year, the KHL, it's not like they were giving him minutes. He literally, I think he played probably a total of eight minutes in fucking 20 fucking KHL games last year. I don't know. So, I mean, if anything, his stock's falling just because he's not, he's literally not playing games. Maybe again, maybe he's hurt and I just, you, it's Russia, so you can't really get anything out of there. Um, but it just sucks. And I would like to see him just be in one place because I think if they just let him go rip it up in junior, like he would torch that fucking league because he's that good. He's so nasty. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> Uh, but that's what it is. So Yarov's just this is where we're at with Yarov, I guess. Yeah, fair enough. 